What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about Tonsberg, Norway. From what I understand, this is a very, very historical city in Norway, very important. I believe it used to be the capital of Norway, if I understand, like a long, long time ago, and it's like the oldest city in Norway, I think. I think if I'm remembering my facts correctly, I tried to check on these things a little bit, but I just thought that sounded amazing. I'd never heard of this before, and this just sounded like a fantastic place to learn more about in Norway. Um, I can only imagine what exists here and what kind of history and interesting stuff is here. So I found this little video, uh, which honestly goes looking around Tonsberg a little bit and explaining some of the history and some of the cool stuff there, which sounds perfect, sounds great. So let's take a look. Tonsberg is generally regarded as the oldest city in Norway. It was founded by Vikings in the 9th century. What? The town was destroyed by fire in 1536, and only in the 18th and 19th centuries did it become a major port and one of Norway's major shipping and whaling centers. Whoa, whoa, what? Uh... <laughs> what? I was not expecting such a big start. Um, it was created by Vikings, <laughs> like five, like a long time ago. Then it burnt down 500 years ago, and then it was rebuilt. And now it's very important in Norway for shipping and like trade. What a fascinating history. Like actually, wow. Okay. Until the late 1960s, it was Norway's third largest maritime town. Tongsburg reminds an industrial and shipping. Whoa, wait, look, uh, there's, there's literally Viking ships. <laughs> there's literally Viking ships out here. Okay. Largest maritime town. Tongsburg reminds an industrial and shipping center with such diverse concerns as metal shops. Yeah, metal shops. I mean, look at this thing. What is, look at this statue, and he's got like a hammer, probably for metal smithing himself. Shipyards, paper mink mills, leather processing, and breweries. It is noted especially for its silverware. Tonsberg. Wow, Tonsberg has like a big, like art, artisan trade, crafting type of feeling to me. That's very cool, very, very cool. Or historically, Tungsberg is a city and also a municipality in Westfold yeah, or yeah. Telemark County, located okay. 102 kilometers or 63 miles south-southwest from Oslo. Okay. Uh, I love when, <laughs> I love how Norwegian cities tend to have like cool statues and stuff just sitting out in the public, like we can't really have that so much in America because people vandalize stuff and ruin stuff. So I like to see it in Norway. <laughs> and of course, like any, like any beautiful Norwegian city, it's on the water as well. Kongsberg in numbers, 102 kilometers from Oslo, an actual okay. capital of Norway, 48,350 people living in Tongsberg. Wow, 50,000 50, people in Tongsberg. That's a decent amount of people for just a city. City split between Tongsberg and Noteroy municipalities. 20.8% oh. increase of population from 2000 to 2015. As a bonus oh. to car free international visitors, the city is easy to reach on a day trip from Oslo by train or by bus. Here wow, this place is beautiful. And like she said, it's very, it's like you can reach it from Oslo on like a train or something. This is beautiful looking at this water and all this stuff in the buildings. It's got like a, like it does have like an old kind of vibe to it, a historical vibe, but some of the buildings are modern. Very, very Norwegian, that's for sure. Yeah, a few things to see and to do while you're in town. Oh, okay. how I wish for the Christmas set. 
one of the famous parts of Tongsberg is Tongsberg Marina. Summertime it would be parked with people and the boats, but now it's like literally almost no one here. Yeah. And still it doesn't stop you from having a lovely walk in this marina, breathing some sea air. Yes. A marina. A marina. I don't technically know what a marina is, what makes a marina a marina, but it is very beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I'll say I was so lucky with the weather today. Sun is shining, it's December time, and I don't even need to wear my gloves. When people from Tongsburg say Brigga, this is the harbor they actually mean. This harbor is popular for it. Oh, this harbor, Brigga. Yeah, I mean, the buildings back there are very cool. It's like, man, I don't know how to describe it, but something about like the coastal Norwegian cities, just like this, exactly like this, just have this like, you don't see anything like this in America. Like this is special. It's active nightlife, especially summer months, and also oh. it's eating and drinking. And actually lots of people from Oslo spending their time here enjoying this. Tongsburg Marina. Summertime, yeah. it's a perfect place to enjoy your ice cream or some fresh seafood. But okay. in December, it's all closed. Guys, this is really interesting. I'm taking a walk in Tongsburg Marina and all the restaurants are closed. If you yeah. know anything about it, please drop me a comment. If they just don't work on Friday at 2 p.m. or is due to current global situation. Oh, oh, she's wondering why everything is closed. When was this made? This video was made like a year ago. Oh, she's wondering why all the restaurants are closed. Yeah, that is a shame. This is what, somehow Tonsberg feels like a small town look while being a big city with 50,000 people. So I don't know how they achieve that, but that's very cool. Christmas like it's like the name. Definitely something old and something new. Oh. Tongsburg. Oh yeah, no, literally. Old, new. Huh. Okay. Is Norway's oldest city. It actually dates back to the Viking era. By the Tongsberg Harbor, you can travel back in time at Viking Garden and experience a true size reconstruction of the legendary Osberg Viking ship. Yes, the reconstruction of the Viking ship. That is awesome. Tongsberg is just awesome for <laughs> for being created by Vikings. Like that's. Nothing can take that away. That is awesome. And it's it's a bit really cool that they have like some of the actual recreation of the ship. Perfect. You may try sailing a Viking longship too, <laughs> if you dare. Something old. Uh. And something new. <laughs> the town is very significant because of the Oseberg ship, which is a Viking ship that was found in the ground in 1904. This is Wait, it's real? Wait, this is a real ship? A real Viking ship that was found in the ground? Are you allowed to go in it? I see that they have some stairs set up. Are you allowed to go in this thing? The ship from the Norwegian 20 Krone. The ship is known as a national treasure. Which yeah. everyone likes. They took the ship to Oslo in the 20s and made it part of the Viking ship museum there. The ship oh. was rebuilt in the 20s and the central bank Put it on the 20 crone. Maybe not a coincidence. A replica of the Osberg ship stands in the Slotsfield Museum. This copy of... Okay, yeah, this is a copy. <laughs> okay, I was like, this is not the real ship. There's no way. They're letting people crawl and walk all over this thing. This is a replica. And so that means you can go up and actually stand in it. That's awesome. I actually like that even better because you can actually get in it. And I'm sure Americans like to take pictures in this thing. <laughs> it's, it's just fun. I like it. Osberg ship was built exactly to the specifications of an original Viking ship okay. using the tools available in Viking era. Unfortunately, you cannot take the ride on this ship. The boat is taking out for sailing. 
only for special events. Wait, it it sails? Wait, this thing actually they actually take it out and like sail it? Oh, I want to see that. How did they make it look so old and genuine somehow? Huh. Um, this is probably one of the cutest things, one of the cutest things I've ever seen. And um, it's the petrol station right in the middle of Tonsberg and the World's End. Look how cool this is. That's BP petrol station. I have no idea how old it is. But Oh, this is like a vintage old style gas station. I was like, I was like thinking, why are we so impressed by a gas station? What? And then I was like, oh, the, the pumps and the sign and everything is clearly like vintage. That's cool. It's kind of random, like <laughs> to, have, to have a vintage BP gas station, but okay, why not? It looks so cute. Nice. Yeah. Okay. It's cool. Only 30 minutes away drive from Tongsburg, you have the world's end. This well-known tower making the site was built from stones from Tioma Beach more than 80 years ago. This wow, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is only 30 minutes from Tonsberg. World's End. <laughs> World's End, what a name. Um, is this like very, very southern Norway then? These little islands, these little rock formations, and then the horizon, the water that just goes on forever into the distance. That's like amazing. And this thing they built out of stone, which looks like a catapult or something. Scenic spot at the world's end. Verdens Ende is situated at the southernmost tip of Tioma. Its unique lighthouse makes it a popular destination, wow. even when all elements of nature are in play. Verdens Ende, the world's end, is a part of a national park of Norway. It offers... Yeah. This is really cool. This has like a unique look to it. It's not very mountainous or or grassy and green like a lot of Norway is. It's like rocky and like watery beach. It's it's different. Norway really has a everything, like a bit of everything. This is different. Great ocean views, horse riding, llama <laughs> touching, climbing and also tourist center. Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. this little <laughs> what is this supposed to be it's a uh, does it hold a light is that what she said it's like a little hut made of rocks does it hold like a light up there that's kind of cool yeah yeah and of course they found the perfect time of day just ran like, somehow, in all these videos, the sun is always setting in the perfect way, and everything is so beautiful. Is is the sun just always setting in Norway? That should be a saying or something. <laughs> Usual thing. Summer months, it's packed with tourists and the okay. locals. And wintertime, it's quiet and relaxed. Not many people around, but you can have still that fantastic walk this yeah. place yeah i guess that may maybe that's a tip like if you want norway to yourself without any tourists i'm sure now i'm positive norway must get an insane amount of tourism because there's so much cool stuff there like the tourism must be off the wall insane if you go in the cold time of year it's probably a lot easier but then you have to be cold so. is extremely beautiful. Another fantastic place to add to your travel list for the next time when you're coming to Norway, the yeah. world's end. What a perfect way to spend the evening and also enjoy this gorgeous sunset right yeah. from here. Yeah. Seriously.
Yeah. Guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. It will show the algorithm that this video is really cool. And also, I will be happy to see your feedback. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, Magnus, Magnus Carlson for some reason. <laughs> I did like this. I've got to give this video a like. I really did like this. This was by Anna Goldman. And that was great. I, you know, I'd never heard about Tonsberg. And then I found out what this is the oldest city in Norway made by Vikings. There's a Viking ship. It used to be the capital of Norway. It's only an hour from Oslo. It's awesome. It's amazing. Like, I'd never heard of this. I'm so glad that I found this city in Norway. And this video was great. Like, this actually taught me history of Tonsberg and the cool stuff there. And this world's end that you can travel to only 30 minutes away. Which is all awesome. Like, this was awesome. I really enjoyed this. Tonsberg. Uh, I'm gonna remember that. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video as well, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway, Norwegian culture, uh, things in Norway I've never seen. Feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time.